Welcome everyone to the 4MS Stereo Triggered Sample Demo. We're going to show you some more examples on some granular synthesis techniques. And what that's going to be is playing with the length CV, the start position, and us using different curves to show you that you can scan forward and backwards through a sample. Now, ten, ten, if it's at full nine, length, the eight, play button's a toggle. Seven, ten, if you hold it down, ten, nine, you get it to loop. Eight, so seven, in this example, we have six, someone counting backwards five, from 10 to four, 1. Very three, simple example, two, right? One, and what we're going to do is ten, we're going to take a voltage nine, out of our peg. Eight, and this is an seven, adjustable voltage six, that we're going to use five, with the start position. Four, so three, really what we're going to show you two, is how to ten, get to a grain. Ten, 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 and then in nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So now I just scanned through that whole entire sample. And I just went backwards through it. And that's what we're going to do now with a peg. I'm going to tap a one second time. I'm going to put it on ramp. So we're going to get the sample to play forward. Now I'm going to slow it down too so we can get it to. And now he's talking through, and this is how much of the sample we're going to play back. 5 volts would be the whole sample, 0 volts would be back to the grain that we have before. Now, the interesting thing is, you being a ramp is going to play the sample forward. Um, if I do a triangle, we get it in both directions, forward and backwards. And if you want them to speak backwards or in reverse, now, the other thing we want to do is kind of emulate this moving, because in granular synthesis, you also have the movement of the length as well as the start position. So we're just going to do another one second tap. And you'll notice with the timer that it'll speed up and slow down those grains, which is really interesting. So you can do combinations of this. We're going backwards to the sample again. I'm going to go back and forth. We can go through a lot faster. It's like hurrying up and scanning through real fast. And since these are not synced, you get more of this random movement of the length CV, and that's going to be truly what granular kind of does. Um, and the fun thing is, is if we go back and we say we listen to some bass line. We can go forward and backwards through it. We can go forward through it. You know, you can reverse through it. So you can write like new lines because you're going forward or reverse through them. Exponential and logarithmic curves will give you more grinds on certain sides too because it's kind of rushing it in different areas. This is more towards the middle and that's more towards the ends. So the curve will actually do a lot of fun stuff too in like making you run through the samples at different speeds as well. Um, you can also go, you know, to an actual drum loop. Or like running backwards through one. Forwards through it. And this is a fun way to just chop different things up. Now if we had a tone too. rushing it in certain areas, and then this is the length CV, the amount that we're changing that length. Now again, these are all the fun things that you can do in real time. All you need is, you know, a good modulation source that has control of the voltage and the angles that you're using, and those can all be ways that you can really change and mangle the way the sample plays back, from forward to backwards, uh, to longer passages and shorter passages, and of 
course you can see it's kind of like making it grind a little bit more slowing it down a little bit too and that's the rate of this side of the envelope so again some granular synthesis techniques showing you how voltage amount how skew and how curve all applied to a sample can run in different directions at different rates and that you can use the other side of your peg to send a voltage out and change the actual uh, length of what we're hearing too um, and this is just a good example of what you can do with the stereo triggered sampler thanks for watching and we're going to do another video pretty soon so stay tuned for more information on some of our products